I'm Dave and this is not Logan. <laughs> As regular viewers will know, Logan normally comes out on uh, walks with me. This is Fiverr, my youngster. Logan's actually at home today, taking it nice and easy, resting on the couch. But I'm delighted that uh, young Fiverr is going to join me as a special guest on the walk. Now today we're at a place called Blue Pool. It's uh, just to the south of uh, Wareham in Dorset, uh, just off the A351 road to Corfe on the Isle of Purbeck. And we're going to be doing a, well I still want to say how far we're going to go because uh, we're going to go for a little wander around the Blue Pool and on some of the little trails within it. I'll tell you a little bit about it because it's slightly different to our normal walks. Uh, we are going to be in the countryside, but uh, it's actually a, a, a sort of tourist attraction. So I parked my car in a free car park here and there's a, a charge of five pounds for adults to actually visit. So do come along with us. Okay, well there's the entrance over there. And uh, Right by the entrance, there's a very handy little map. So there's obviously the blue pool, and it looks like there are a number of different trails that you can follow. So uh, let's go for a little exploration. Oh, goodness me, I thought that was real for a second. Please don't touch or feed. Well, I've made my way straight to the blue pool itself. The opening hours here are uh, sort of 9.30 to 5. Dogs are allowed, but they have to be kept on leads at all times. So let's have a look at the pool itself that's just behind me. Isn't that quite magnificent? Of course, I'm filming today, middle of April, and it's a glorious sunny spring day. Now, I'll tell you a little bit of history about it. Um, Basically clay was dug up here between the mid 17th century and the, the early 20th century. And it's basically a flooded, disused clay pit about 30 foot deep. And it was hand dug in the 1800s. And it sits in 150 acres of land as part of the Fursbrook estate. It was actually opened up to the public in 1935 when a, a cafe was opened. And it was designated an SSSI in 1985. Well, I'll tell you. This walk's not going to be a particularly long walk, but it's a place that I've always wanted to, to visit. And this pool really is quite magnificent. And from up here on the ridge, you really do get some uh, great views of it. And you certainly get some great colours, sort of bright turquoisey green, and then parts of it are grey and reddish brown. And the colours change due to the, the light refraction from the clay particles in the pool. I'm no expert, but uh, apparently anyway, the light gets refracted depending on the actual size of the, the clay particles. So the pool itself may appear darker, a sort of more inky blue, depending on the time of day, depending also on the weather and how the sky is reflected on the surface. The actual blue um, is the reflection from the sky and going back to the days when they extracted clay from here, the ball clay was very good for ceramic products such as um, cups, plates, teapots and smoking pipes. Well, you can tell that uh, I'm filming around about Easter time, lots of bunnies and Easter eggs dotted around the place. Great place to take the kids, I should imagine. Well, I tell you, everywhere you stop and then look to the pool, you get some quite unique views, especially when it's through the uh, pine trees here. It really is a place of peace and tranquility. I was reading that uh, Augustus John painted here in 
1910, and you can understand why. Well, so it's peaceful now. It was used by the army in the Second World War to practice building bridges across lakes. Wow, well, we're currently on a, a fairy trail, and Fiverr is having a little investigation. <laughs> Some investigating up here. Logan would love this sand. Ah, anything interesting in that hole to report back on? Dead end. <laughs> We're now on, I think this is the sort of southern side of the pool, looking where the sun is. And I just, I say that there are different colours. I don't know if this is coming across on the GoPro or not, but uh, I just love the reflections as well. And over on the very far side, the, of course, the yellow gorse out in all its glory in the morning spring sunshine. There are so many uh, seats dotted around the pool. <laughs> you understand why it makes an excellent place just to come down and uh, sit and uh, ponder and reflect. Well, a little pit stop. I thought I'd tell you a bit about Fiverr. He's a 14 month old purebred whippet. Gets on very well with the other two at home, Logan and Monty. And uh, he's done a little bit of showing. He qualified for Crufts and uh, he's got his first competitive uh, obedience competition in five weeks time. We're now on the northern bank and as well as uh, some magnificent views of the pool just the surrounding landscape is uh, quite picturesque as well um, I mean, there's a lot of uh, rhododendron but uh, let me just slowly pan round give you an idea behind me and then <laughs> back to the pool okay these the way the the shadows uh, sort of come across mixes with the, the colours of the pool and the sort of glimpses that you see of it through. I don't know if... <laughs> oh, I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sometimes words don't always come across that well or uh, the words don't always describe what you can actually see. Beautiful. <laughs> And one thing that you mustn't forget if you're coming here for a walk, don't forget to bring your camera. You'll get some terrific shots. certainly need to keep your eyes peeled when you're having a walk around here. You never know what you might come across. Look at this chap standing behind me here. <laughs> now, where's my uh, chief investigator? You just check this chap out for me, he's not too sure. 
he says, <laughs> you're all big. Yeah, sniff under there, typical dog. <laughs> right, well this must be very much on the, uh, the fairy trail, number three. So, lead on fibre. Goodness knows where this is going to take us. <laughs> Well, folks, we've come to the end of our walk. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up and a like and to leave a comment. Not the longest walk we've ever done, but hopefully you found it interesting. We're finishing off with a cup of tea, a pasty and a, well, a sausage roll for five. He's been a good boy, hasn't he? Whoops. <laughs> so until we meet again, thanks for watching and cheerio. <laughs> Thank you.